Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you my Halloween costume today. Because Halloween's on Wednesday, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because with my costume look, I have to have no eyebrows. But yeah, so I'll be doing that off camera because I don't think you guys want to see me doing my eyebrows for like 10 minutes. So, one second. Okay, so just do my eyebrows. I know they're not the best, but they're not the worst. I have bushy eyebrows. Um... I'm just going to link the video down below of the video I watched because he explained it a lot better than some of the YouTube site, like YouTube tutorials I've watched. Uh, yeah, also all the products I've used are just going to be down below like this palette and all that fun stuff are just going to be down below. No, I need websites because I don't know the websites for some of this stuff. But so, I'm going to go as Bette Milder in Hocus Pocus as Winifred Sanders. And she doesn't really have any eyebrows. I don't know if I said that or not, but that's why I had to like put my eyebrows down. But I might make it a little bit more draggy. Um, I might make some eyebrows like my regular like shh, eyebrows, you know, like my drag eyebrows. But we're just gonna take my regular. And weirdly enough, I don't do primer really. I am though today, cause why not? So I'm just gonna take this. Wet and Wild primer. Just go like, oh god, I put too much on all the way down to the neck. And I did shave already when I was in there waiting for the glue to dry because I didn't think Matt Builder had a mustache and beard. I don't think I shaved correctly though. I guess still have some stuff. Okay, then we're just gonna be using this regular Revlon foundation in the shade 180. I don't think it actually has. Oh, normal slash dry. Oh, sand beige. Y'all can see that. That's what I used on my eyebrows. I'm just gonna put some of the sand beige on this palette, like right here. Because I don't want it on my hand at all. I'm gonna use this foundation brush I got on Wish that I've washed many times, but it's still nasty. And I just use the brush to, like, apply it. I guess, I don't know. I wasn't going to bring this palette out, but hey, contour. That's contour. So the costume I have does go pretty low. Like, probably like right here, about. I'm just going to take this all the way down here. Because I don't want to have, like, ivory or whatever face. Because it's a little bit darker than it should be for me, because it's not summertime anymore. But I don't want to have dark face, just white, you know. I don't want to be red. And then put some right here on your ears. For ears though, the wig I have, it doesn't really matter. I know you're are supposed to do this, but gets everything. Basically doing my same drag makeup I do, but it's not as like complicated, I guess you could say. Like see like, I think you can see like regular makeup, no, no makeup. I can't really see because it's beauty light. Okay. Next, I'm just gonna take this NYX HD concealer and just put it under my eyes. Basically, just doing like regular makeup, and I don't have that Krylon concealer, whatever it's called, because I don't know where you get that. So I'm just making do with what I have. Because I'm not trying to make it too draggy, I want it to be somewhat normal, even though she's a witch. So I'm just gonna take these, what are they called? Eyelashes. They're just regular eyelashes. I'm not trying to be too draggy. And I'm just gonna take them. I think they're like, they're my some girl. I don't know her name. Okay, I'm just gonna take this eyelash curler. Any eyelash curler will do. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Okay. Next, with eyelashes, I just like using the duo glue because it's like cement and it works really well. It works a lot better than the kiss glue or the glue that comes with the eyelashes, that like white stuff that just sucks. This is a few bucks, it costs a little bit of money, but it's, it's worth it, I think. Once this is done, my eyebrows, eyelashes are on, I'll be right back. Okay, so this eyelash is a little bit weird. I don't know why there's like a, a space right there. I don't, know. I don't know why I tried fixing it, but it didn't work. But I don't think I even put these on right. <laughs> it looks weird from here at least. But then, we are going to do 
contour. I don't know why I did this first. I think I just remembered about these and I was like, oh shit, I need to do that. So then, we're just going to take... Okay, so we're just going to take... Let's see what color. Probably this color right here. And there's hairs on this brush already. Okay, so we're just going to take like... Probably the lightest color, maybe. Like either like one of these colors or one of these colors. Probably just this one. It's going to go like... Ooh, it's a little dark. Then we're just gonna take one of these guys right here and just go like. Not even to highlight it, just to like make it not as sharp. Does that make sense at all? Probably not. And I'm probably not doing this right, so. Go to someone else's channel. <laughs> or video. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a contour. I've started doing this where you go like that. I don't know why, but I just started like putting in some contour, not like contour, but highlight like right here. So like maybe like more to find the nose. I don't even know why, honestly. I'm just gonna blend all of this. Okay, it looks a little bit better, I guess. You can still see a lot of stuff though. I like blended for like 10 minutes, I feel like. It's just gonna have to be good enough. I don't care and <laughs> anymore. Okay, next, we're gonna take the O Honey palette by Sugar Pill, featuring Tricks and Tell. Are you gonna say it? And we're just gonna take the life size color right. Okay. Life size color right here. Life size color right here. <laughs> Drop 10 times. Just gonna use a, a fluffy brush. Okay, that's hate crime. And just go like. Uh, and I don't do blush, so... And I'm not just gonna leave it like this. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. Okay, that's... Okay. Next, we're just gonna take... This red lipstick by... Wet n' Wild? Yeah. Wet n' Wild Catsuit. In the color... Behind the Bleachers. That's sexual. And it's gonna do like the winter red lips. I don't know how to do it really, so... Okay, that's... Okay. I think it would have been better if I didn't use the actual like thing on it, if I just used like a lip brush. Next we're just gonna add some highlight. I'm just using this, we're gonna do two highlights. I'm just gonna use this uh, L'Oreal Glow Armor Am Amour, I don't fucking know, this stuff right here. I just realized if I like got my contour like right here, and put like red right here and then like black, I could do tricks and tell real fast. Sorry, that's not the video though. I just like saw it from a distance, I was like, huh. It wouldn't be as good as hers, but I could do a okay version. Okay, then we're gonna take this Moon Child Anastasia River Hill um, palette. And I don't really use it, not because it doesn't work, because I dropped it. So there's like, like I use this one a lot. That's why it's to the panel already, because it's like a silver kind of color. But like all the others, I dropped it, and they broke, so I just didn't use it anymore. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight brush. I think that's what it's called. I don't think there's like an actual number to it. If there was, it's gone. It's just this one. And then let's go for this blue eyes color. These are shoes. I'm just using these red ones. I know she doesn't actually wear these red shoes, but I couldn't find any good boots. All I could find were like rain boots and that kind of boots so it's a look i guess okay it's just kidding i'm gonna be using these shoes instead i know they're ugly but i don't care <laughs> more about that these goddamn gloves link in the bio or right there i think it's actually right there the eye icon right there i think i don't know but yeah so that's a look is it a good look it's okay i kind of might do like a line for eyebrow because she has like a little bit of a line she doesn't really have like eyebrows to begin with um, I might not wear these for Halloween because that's more a little bit more draggy it looks blue in the sliding which is weird and they're purple not blue but so maybe that's why I might honestly just go to Walmart and buy some nails and do it that way um, in the picture though, her ear is out, but it looks weird with my ears out, so I'm just gonna have them covered. I can still hear, hear, and I don't have to worry about earrings, which is cool. But yeah, um, 
this wig is pretty okay cool it is kind of falling apart not not falling apart like the hairs aren't staying so I would have to like put hairspray on it and I have done that before but I'm gonna take these nails off before they fall apart on me and I know if you're not na wearing nails you're not doing drag but I don't even care because I just hate these nails, honestly. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the new video tomorrow? Maybe? I don't know. Next month, technically. <laughs> because it's hopefully this is going to go on up on Halloween. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the new video next time. Good and bye. I don't know.